Hey guys, this is Gardens. So this is a continuation of our tutorial. So um, this is pretty much the same uh, model that I had before in the previous tutorials. The only um, the only thing is um, I have included two cylinders, one and two. These two cylinders, and I've um, fixed the the elbow. I've made it, you know, like properly. I've, I scaled it and. Um, moved it around and stuff like that to make it perfect the way I want it. So rubber band select them control D to duplicate it and just move one to the other side. Um go into your front view and just move it to there. Now we're good, we're happy. Now the only thing that we would need to do this time is uh create the face, you know? Do the face. So for that, um, for that, I'm going to go into my uh, front view, scale it so it's big enough. Then we're going to use a cube. Corner to corner to corner. That's about right. Then you go into your side view and just ramp it up a bit, make it thicker. Like that, then bring it to the front. That's about right. Now, um, what we want to do is uh, extrude from this same object to create the nose. We need, we need to extrude the bottom, you know. So, uh, go back into your front view, front view polycube, increase your subdivision, include, add two more subdivisions, that makes it three. Now, as you know, we need to be in, in uh, vertex mode. We need to be in vertex mode. So, vertex, rubber, rubber band, select them, and R to scale them, then just scale them in. Remember, point to point. Now, go into your perspective view. Um, just take it to edge mode. Yeah, face. That uh, select select the face the face, edit mesh extrude. Now go into your front view so you're able to see what you're doing. Extrude that to about there. That's pretty good. Now um, the only thing remaining to do is to make these little uh, indentations, the little uh, round things. So um, create your spheres in there. Because we're going to use the boolean in here. If you don't know what that is, you'll find out in a second. If you don't want to find out you are this way, you can always go back to a previous tutorial, the boolean tutorial. So that's pretty good. So um, now, Control D, move it along. You have to be careful with them. Control D, move it along. Control D, move it along. Control D. You can actually uh, select a cut a few D and move them along again. So it's up to you. For the for you guys, not everyone is as fast as as quick as you guys as far as learning is concerned. So um, object mode. So that one. Control D. Move it that way. We would um, use duplicate spatial for this one, but um, it's equally easy doing it this way. That way you know exactly what's going on. So we've made all these. Now um, it would be great because we are, um, for, for you to use the boolean to get the difference, you need to select two uh, polygons, polygonal surfaces. So it will take a very long time to select this surface and that surface, do it this surface and that surface, it will take forever. So um, it's uh, recommended to select all these bad boys. Then mesh combine, combine them to make them as one. That way you're able to, um, to treat all these objects as uh, one object.